now we are discussing accrual accounting and income last part and in this part what we are doing preparing the financial statements but before preparing the financial statements in my second uh, part of the chapter uh, three we discuss uh, adjusted trial balance after adjusting trial balance the next step is that we have to close or closing uh, we have to pass the closing entries uh, for the trial balance now income statement uh, list revenues and expenses report net income and statement of retained earning show changes uh, in retained earning and balance sheet reports assets liabilities and stock so all these accounts is going to be transferred from adjusted trial balance to income statement statement of retained earning and balance sheet so after that what is important and we see here that the net income this is again the flow of the data from uh, one to the other so net income is going to transfer to the statement of retained earning and from state uh, statement of retained earning the closes ba balance is transferred to the shareholders equity uh, <clears throat> retained earning now we need to close the books because uh, these revenue and expense accounts are temporary accounts and with uh, dividend accounts so these are temporary accounts these are open for one accounting period or we can say it's for one year but after that we have to close it so that we start a new year with a clean slate no expense from the previous period no revenue from the previous period no uh, withdraw uh, drying from previous period so by this way there is a zero balances in these accounts so how we can close these accounts that's a preparing the account for next period so set revenues expenses and dividends to zero revenue expenses and dividends to zero and how do we do that closing the books so temporary accounts as i mentioned there are two types of accounts one are called as a temporary accounts and i very clearly mentioned that temporary accounts are revenue expense and dividend so what accounts are not temporary accounts assets and liabilities so assets liabilities and equity accounts are permanent accounts so assets liabilities and equity accounts are permanent accounts revenue expense and dividends are temporary accounts so how we can close these accounts so we close revenue account by normally what what is the balance of a uh, revenue account credit so how we can make it zero by credit by debit the same value so by this way it's going to be zero so we debit each revenue account and what we pass as a credit entry retained earning so this is the closing entry for revenue accounts close expense account now normal balance of expense accounts are debit balance so what we do we credit each expense account and debit retained earning so retained earning debit credit each expense account what is a normal balance for a dividend it's a debit balance so what we do we credit the dividend and debit the retained earning so this way again i if i repeat for revenue debit the revenue accounts and credit the retained earning for expenses debit the retained earning and credit the revenue accounts and for dividend debit the retained earning and credit the dividends now here it's a journal and these are the uh, c uh, service revenue other revenue retained earning uh, retained earning things cost of goods sold so these are all the information so revenue minus expenses is a net income so this one is our net income how we do this take all the journals from the debit uh, that uh, revenues and then we have a set expenses we have a net income so retained earning is uh, we uh, we have a retained earning balance so that's we bring it uh, we add up to the this 1200 but there is a dividend of uh, 400 and by this way we have a 2700 so classified as current or a long-term debt, uh, debt on liquidity so how uh, how we classify these uh, uh, assets and liabilities in our account statements we classify assets 
like why we write cash on always on top and why we write um, the land and building and uh, below uh, the reason is that we write the assets in a sequence of their liquidity possibility and what is liquidity convert to cash sold or consumed in a in one year so that's so we write it first current assets and within the current asset also we follow the sequence of a liquidity like cash is the liquid uh, accounts receivable then notes receivable and then inventory and and then prepaid expenses so this is the the way uh, long term assets comes then and then on the uh, liability side also we follow the sequence must be paid within a year we, uh, we call them as a current liabilities and then we reported long term liabilities so categorize and subtotal assets and liabilities uh, format uh, balance sheet formats can be of a report format and account format report format means on top what we write it assets and then we write it uh, below uh, the asset totals we write it li liabilities and then uh, below the liabilities total we write it uh, shareholders equity so this way is a report format uh, uh, account format uh, uh left side is for uh, assets which is the debit and right side is for liabilities and uh, shareholders equity which is uh, income statement can be a single step uh, income statement in which we add up all the revenues together and then we write uh, add up all the expenses together and subtract it and that's a one single step uh, net income by uh, revenue minus expenses uh, but there is a multi-step uh, income statement which is normally in practice like we make it a multi-step uh, statement show subtotals to emphasize relationship and includes gross profit income from operations income before taxes and then uh, after tax we have a net income so this is uh, what we want to discuss uh, like uh, the closing entries and then we have a uh, in the format of a uh, balance sheet and income statement so this is all what i want to share with you regarding the chapter number three i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and watch